I, I grew up in an alcoholic family. I grew up across the street from the Catholic Church. I was a server in grade school and uh, middle school, and uh, our family was always part of the parish. Um, I I knew that something wasn't right in our family. We had a year where um, a lot of money was taken from my father's business, and my mother's father died. My mother had a breakdown, and uh, that's when our family uh, started really becoming an alcoholic family. My dad was a good man, but he, he, he drank to get through this period. Um, over the course of time, actually going to the NCCA and being exposed to guest house uh, as a young seminarian, I started to realize what actually happened in our house. I thought it was normal. And so when I was at an NCCA and the lady told us about the alcoholic family system, I thought this woman had been eaten dinner with us for the last 20 years. So as I educated myself, I, I also realized that I, I was an alcoholic person too. And um, so over the course of time, since I was about 25 years old now, uh, I've been in recovery. And uh, life has changed for a lot of us. We, we intervened on my father at the age of 67, and he uh, became a recovering person at the age of 67 until he passed away at the age of 79 in peace and serenity. So my life, my family's life, my ministry, um, all seven parishes that I've been part of have been directly affected by my understanding of me growing up in an alcoholic family and recovering in that alcoholic family and bringing that hope and that strength to all the families and the parishes that I'm part of. I've been sober since uh, February 17th, 1988, so almost 25 years now. I guess the scariest part for any man coming home from treatment is how will they accept me when I come home? Will they look at me differently? Uh, will they, what will they do? And, and I think uh, the, the best thing that ever happens to a man who comes home is that people just see him and they hug him and they say, it's good to see you home, welcome back home. We once had a priest who told his secretary when he was intervened on that he needed to talk to her and she was all worried and he said well I'm an alcoholic I have to go to guest house and she said well thank God I thought you had cancer and so in in that particular instance guest house interfaced with that that staff and and that man would talk to his parish through his treatment through the bulletin articles and um, that was probably our best re-entry of, of all time is is because he he never really left he just was in a different place and then he came back and he maintained that that uh, communication throughout i think the worst thing is when people don't say anything or they don't talk because the three family rules are don't talk don't trust and don't feel and so it's very difficult if people just don't talk so I think it's it's important to break the ice and say welcome home just like you would anyone else.